Hey, Christian, what an amazing day of football. Where are you, dude? <laughs> uh, I'm not there. Yeah. That's, that, that's Why am I, I am. sitting in your seat? <laughs> uh, because I am home. Your boy got got. Yeah, man, he got finally. And it wasn't from me. And I remember when Christian texted me, he said, dude, uh, I hate to say this, but today's show is brought to you by AutoZone. Get in the zone. <laughs> AutoZone. I mean, uh, yeah, I didn't say I hate to say this. I said I love to say this. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> we all love to say it. Uh, but you are feeling good. You're feeling good. Yes, I got uh, I tested positive for COVID uh, three days ago. Mm. And so, as you can see, I'm going to I'm going to show everybody our final got- our only two day break. And you <laughs> <laughs> you get to have a house all to yourself. I got the hat trick. The, the, can it's you see too it? bright. You can't see it. Look at you. I got the COVID hat Damn. trick. You got um, a triple but, double, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, yes, I, I did uh, test positive. I was honestly dealing with just like it felt like a slight cold. I'm glad I got the, the second booster uh, just a couple weeks ago because this uh, it, it really wasn't. I, I, I don't want to sound like, hey, it's not even a big deal, everybody. It's just a slight little cold. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah, yeah. That. It's the <laughs> okay. flu, says Christian Polanco. <laughs> <laughs> Quote me, everybody. Yeah. Uh, but I, very because Alexis, you really recently were sick. And yes. it, it, it kicked your ass. Hey, yeah, um, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a lot worse for me. Yeah, and it was basically maybe a day and a half of like, I got the sniffles for me. And it re- so it really wasn't that uh, bad, a, uh, you know, bad of an experience. Don't recommend it to anybody. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's a good but, reason. Look, I, I, I slacked off on getting the booster, the fourth shot. Mm. I waited a little bit. And I was like, I'll get it soon. I was like, hey, why do I not feel great right now? Uh, I should take a test. Oh, yeah. It's probably not a good idea that I coughed in my wife's face all night. Uh, and then she got it. So <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's not. Uh, again, okay, keep your bedroom things to yourself. Listen, it's, I'm here to spill my truths. You feel me? Uh, okay. But yes, you are not. You are not able to come into the studio, but you are good enough to do the show, and that's all that's important. Uh, and exactly. I'm glad you're feeling well. Uh, but you've also had a chance to watch uh, today's matches. Oh boy, the excitement. And we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. But I do want to get to our interview. We have a special guest in the house. Yeah. Just started watching soccer at the beginning of this tournament, already fully in. And I and and there there's probably a lot of people that are new to the Cooligans, new to the sport, and want to hear themselves represented in the show. And right. our guest, Lil Frex, is that representation. There's probably some people who like, yo, man, I had I barely watch soccer, but now I do. How come you guys are a little inside baseball? Well, let's talk to someone who's inside baseball, but also outside baseball. And that'll make a lot of sense uh, once we get to it. So check out our interview with Lil Frex. Christian, what an honor it is to have a star. Wow. A star of Amazon Primes. Oh, my God. A league of their own. <laughs> but we know her. Okay. I, th- I thought you were just going to say Amazon Prime, the company. <laughs> That's it, bro. Oh, my God, dude. She is. She's shopping on Amazon Prime all day long. She, she is, is a star on the platform. The number one office manager <laughs> at the Amazon Prime offices. She you guys got to see it. No, this is an absolute honor that we both get to meet her. And don't don't worry about that. You're in a box, Christian. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know her from the stage. I know her from these hilarious videos she puts on her Instagram that I can't believe people keep asking you questions. She's also my wife's friend, which is probably the top of your resume. Lil this Frex, right. everybody. Thank you so much for having me. This is it. Correct. This is huge. This is the name in soccer. Uh-huh. Well, you- some of you might remember her from the last World Cup on the women's national team, right? Yes. I'm sure. I was a walk-on at Fairfield. <laughs> And I joined the women's <laughs> national team. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Interesting. Simi- similar to Matt Turner, which That's is That's why awesome. I was, isn't yeah. that crazy? Okay, so literally been watching soccer six days. I know everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's give the okay, audience a little bit of time. I have something to say about Matt Turner, but go yeah. ahead. Okay, let's give, make, make it positive because he's our friend. No, it is going to be uh, positive. Cool. So <laughs> let, let me give some context for everyone watching or listening. Uh, Lil Frex I've known for a while now. Uh, we've never once spoken about soccer, but all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> during the World Cup, you have nothing to do. Nothing. So you Not decided thing. to, for the first time in your life, watch what you didn't even know the World Cup existed before mm-hmm. this. And now all of a sudden you are all in. You're talking about Mbappe. You're talking about Messi. I'm talking about it all. I'm talking deep stats, deep yeah. cuts. I'm you're talking betting, narratives. You're I'm gambling. Betting. I'm on DraftKings like you've never seen. Shouts to DraftKings. Huh? <laughs> okay. That's the reason this network is here. Yeah. Shouts to DraftKings. Uh, Christian, I, this is the first person. We talk about the, the, the World Cup bump, the World Cup bounce afterwards. Right. This is the first I mean, time yeah. we're, we're hearing about it. We're seeing it in person. 
I, very much so. And the fact that she says that, you know, that Frex is saying that we're the, the name in soccer is already a good sign, okay? Yep. It shows that the, the, the daily episodes mm-hmm. have worked, you know? Abso- us exhausting ourselves, me catching COVID, it's all been worth it for this moment. I've had a bad knee, I've had a bad <laughs> heel, and now I have a swollen toe. And let me okay. tell you something, all of this apparently tied to my back, but all this worth it. So that someone like Frex could be a fan it, of the sport. It is worth <laughs> it because when the games are over 4 p.m. every day, I feel like a come down and I say, well, where am I going to go for more soccer content? <laughs> yes. And I've been going to the Cooligans. <laughs> there we go. I mean. So, and I've known. Thank you, know, you for coming in, Frex. That's all we need. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are your, what are your thoughts on someone who's not watched the sport at all, but all of a sudden you've been thrusted into what I consider is the best World Cup Fantastic. I've ever seen? Fantastic. What a cup. <laughs> <laughs> best I, one I just, I've seen so far. Right? I, sit, yeah. I sit on the couch. I'm just going to myself what a cup <laughs> fantastic and like i'm joking around but i'm being dead serious i love the world cup i don't know if i love soccer yet we'll see what happens when it's over but i do know that i love the world cup this kind of like okay. when it's the olympics and you watch figure skating you're not going to follow these people right afterwards well but during well, this we'll moment do, we'll do everything we can to keep you a soccer fan after uh after this world cup i'm gonna I give it a real go Nice. There's still a lot of entertainment to be had. But I guess my first question, because we, we I think Alexis and I are very much in this this soccer bubble. Mm-hmm. We don't really get to speak to, I mean, and I say this with all due respect, normies yeah, who are no. not obsessed with the sport. Civilians. You know? yeah, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was telling him, like, I worked at a bar during the last World Cup, so it was obviously happening. Didn't even register to me. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even are, it did not even every, raise my consciousness why is everybody so loud why are yeah. they wearing the same Literally, colors people like are yeah. you playing the game i'm like what game no or not <laughs> <laughs> so my my first question to yes. you is what what changed this time what was it about it was it a particular moment a particular match that you were like wow all right i'm gonna give this a real shot it started just as a decision i heard that the world cup was coming up and this time this time of year is always kind of slow in the entertainment business like, I kind of have a lot of time during the day. You know, we do all our self-generated things, but it doesn't take all day. No. If my family's listening, yeah. I'm busy all day. That's why right. I don't call. But otherwise, <laughs> if yes. If we're being honest, yeah, 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 it yeah, doesn't yeah. take all Which day. Which we do not do on the yeah. show. <laughs> and I feel, you know, you start to feel a little untethered, a little lost this time of year because, you know, you're heading into the holidays, which is very exciting. And I just heard that the World Cup was going to happen. And I started texting my friends, like, should we get really into the cup this year? And everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's done it but me. <laughs> yeah. And it took me a few. I, I, I just literally said, we're getting into the cup this year. And then I did nothing about it for days. I didn't watch any of the matches. Then I accurately predicted that Tunisia would win 1-0. Just randomly. And that's what happened. And I go, okay, now, yeah. now I'm getting even more in. <laughs> I must be a soothsayer. Then we're bro. getting on DraftKings <laughs> involved. And then that USA game, the day after Thanksgiving, it was a Friday, so... It was just so fun. Yeah. I've been in ever since. Every single game, waking up, excited, like Christmas morning. So one of my favorite things, Christian, you weren't here for this. Uh, Frax hung out with us and watched this last match uh, at the studio. And I referenced uh, the Guardian article about how uh, they hate the coverage. Mm -hmm. And Frax's like, right. They're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's one. fantastic. They're talking to me and they got me. I'm in. Yeah, exactly. I'm losing That's hundreds what... of followers a day because I'm all I do is post about the World Cup. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. But I'm passionate and I won't stop. And That's exactly what I said. Yeah. I was telling Alexis. Alexis was like, oh, I hate the coverage. Oh, this guy has making some points. I'm like, bro, it's not for you. It's yeah. not for me. I That's want right. Fox, if they're listening, to know I was not degrading <laughs> <laughs> anything about this coverage. I was simply trying to make a counterpoint to Christian. Thank you very much. But this is this is an example we talk about all the time. It's like, who do you speak to? Do you speak to the diehard soccer fans or do you speak to the to the to the entertainment business person who might be slightly degenerate and gambling right. before they know the sport right. and is watching it for the first time? And luckily for you, they are talking to you. And I'm the hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> like I find it fantastic the coverage. I find the little jingle fantastic. There's no commercials. What a breath of fresh air. Yes. What a breath yeah. of fresh air. Everything I that love TV I, I channels love, hate. Yeah. But I love that th- this is um this feels like a, you know, uh, like a focus group meeting. You know what I mean? Like we're we're seeing yeah. what details right. you're connecting with. That nobody yeah. has mentioned the jingle. It's yeah. a pretty it's it, 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 it's solid. It's it's like a regional 
jingle, so it makes you feel like you're re- you're there. It does have you- a, a just a smidge yeah. of Middle East flavor to it. it. Yeah, but it is universal. You know, it's universal, yeah. You you slightly forget like the tragedies that led to this World yeah. Cup. Yeah, because- so that's, yeah, that's <laughs> the yeah. other piece. What, How much what have you a heard narrative. About that? I mean, I've heard they're admitting to 600 people died. We know it's in the thousands. We're getting it up there. I'm reading the <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the migrant worker accounts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of what's going on there. They're not even letting them go to the games. Yeah. I don't like that. Now, are the players allowed to speak out, or it's just it's not their thing right now? They they, they are, do it in their own ways. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They look. The, the, this is the the. I was having this conversation with somebody else about like how you know we we tend to get upset with or or, or want more from the players. Like the players should say something, but these, a lot of these guys, they're kids, they're young. This is their first World Cup, second World Cup. This is a, such a huge opportunity for them. Why are we blaming the players? Right. And, and why are we asking the players to do anything when the adults? The FIFA adults that should have prevented this from happening did not. Right. I agree. Yeah. No, it's FIFA's I, fault. Everyone seems to hate FIFA. I mean, also, don't fuck up the bag, right? I mean, yeah. if you're a player, <laughs> you're getting paid, buddy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, but that's how they put up all those cities, those new cities in the desert. 100%. They just bring in migrant workers, mm-hmm. and they work in 120-degree heat. No, yeah. seriously. Literally, what they, they hold their passports. Yeah. So. I do like that when you said I'm getting all in on this cup. You even got into the controversy oh, of I'm, it. I think it's not just about kicking the ball. Something <laughs> I love is is just the narratives yeah. and the storytelling. Like I'm, I have Argentina winning my bracket, obviously, because everyone, you know, the story is this is Messi's last cup. Yes. And never heard of this man in my life. <laughs> He's apparently, the most famous man in the world. <laughs> Literally, I've never heard of these people. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Yeah, that's how I, that's I look, the same. I look my man up. He's. 500 million. He's the most famous man in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, this, is, this information is not getting to the average American. It's not. <laughs> what do we have to do? Because, I mean, Messi is not a great looking guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? No, he's not. But he has the fade, which bumps him up. Right, he does. The fade is You've so You've been big on the fade. Well, see, another big thing into unlocking the cup mentally for me was when I figured out the team formula. Uh-huh. Eight fades. Yes. One Pete Davidson. <laughs> that's yes. frosted tips, full bleach, fun stripe. Right. One baldy, too old, lot of heart. Right. One wild card. That's a subway busker with a man bun yeah, yeah, or yeah. a 14-year-old child. Right. You could swap <laughs> yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too young to be here? <laughs> Literally? <laughs> yeah. Man, no questions asked, my yeah, man. Yeah. But Fre- no matter what Frex? country they're from. Yeah, 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 I'm saying you should be a general manager. This is, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. this Correct. is a perfect roster right here. Yeah, that's it. That's And it doesn't matter like what culture you come from. Mm-hmm. The Asian countries, instead of doing the fade, they have like a different style, but it's still eight of yeah. that style. You got eight of those. Plus a baldy, right. plus a wild card, plus a subway bus guy. Asian P. <laughs> Davidson. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Asian Literally, P. Davidson. yeah. I do like that there's some manager going like, damn, we got two P. Davidsons. Yeah. We're never going to make it Sometimes there are two P. Davidsons. I'm going to get them out the field. Yeah, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah, Frank's is like, yeah, that's, you, that's why every time the Netherlands, that man with no fade keeps scoring on my country. Yeah. Get this guy out the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's the thing I, I love what you just said about the narratives, and yeah. and I think that is going to be the thing that keeps you watching soccer because yes. the, the the games themselves are entertain are they're fun. I mean, you can people uh, pick apart the things that they really enjoy about the game, but. The, the storylines are the thing that I think don't really make it to an American audience, which is why I think our show exists and what we try to do. But there's just an incredible amount of drama. Like, I'll, I'll give you this one. I mean, maybe you heard at the beginning of the tournament, but there's a, a player, Ener Valencia. He plays for Ecuador. Mm. He, he notoriously uh, had, he owed money for, for child support. And there was a game like that him. he... He, <laughs> he gets for, better. He pretended to be injured. Well, the police uh, were waiting for him to finish the game. They arrest him. In Ecuador. In Ecuador. Happy. And he 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 gets on uh, like a cart, uh, you know, like, like an gurney. injury cart to get mm-hmm. out, like a gurney. And they drive him uh, 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 basically out of the stadium while police are chasing him. And he gets away. And so he has is not arrested to pay this child support. Fantastic. So that's, and He's that guy kind of scored. <laughs> yeah. That guy. He scored like four goals in the World Cup. It, it's pretty Wait, did you see the one about the one? Ugh, it's like a reel going around. Someone, one team dropped the paper. This just happened. The other team picked up the paper, gave it to the coach, and made a last minute substitution, and they won. I've got to look it up what it is. I'll oh, because sometimes the coach will give a paper to a player yes, with a note on it. And they dropped the paper, and you see, they did Whoa. the whole thing of like the kid picks it up, gives it to his coach. <laughs> This is this is what I love about it. There's like, I didn't see this. There's only like Genius. 17 rules in the sport, right. so everything else is just mayhem. And, and one of them is, and one of them is you can't run down the middle. Apparently, yeah. so uh, Frex has complained 
quite Multiple a bit about uh, playing on the wings. <laughs> She's like, why doesn't someone just run straight down the middle? Which is a very <laughs> NFL way of looking at it. Right. But at moments where I'm like, okay, Frex yeah. is right right now. I mean, we yeah, should yeah. be playing a bit more centrally. She's like, why, why isn't Messi shooting the A-gap? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, obviously, easy to say from our vantage point, yes. sitting, eating pretzels, but... Yeah, why? Sometimes I'm just going. What are they doing now? Here's a question I have for you: Are they actually running plays, or is it just random? So there, there are systems that they play in that where they know, like, if the ball goes here, these people need to do this. So they they make adjustments. Okay. But a team like Argentina doesn't really do that. Argentina's mm -hmm. like, look, we have Messi. You know what I mean? Right. And everyone else, try your hardest. Okay. <laughs> Give the ball to Messi. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get uh, in the way of a shot and get open if he has the ball. Right. Okay. That's kind of what they do. Okay, got it. So I, I, I want to make sure we talk about uh, the, the show you're on, A League of Their Own, mm -hmm. um, because obviously about it's about baseball. Dude, you Alexis should pitch that it's, it's about, about soccer next season. Right, and it's called A League of My Own Bitch. <laughs> there you go. And it's a, yeah. it is a soccer show. Casting's going to be easy. We need eight fades, one Pete Davidson. Easy. One Baldy, <laughs> one child. So I want to, uh, for also uh, you, uh, uh, Darcy, Darcy, I love uh, Darcy. Cart is on the show and Thanks. she uh i i believe she i think i had her as a improv uh coach for no like way. one one session literally one of my favorite improvisers when she was at ucb She's and the uh, best. It makes me so happy to see uh Angel her, on her earth. success the, yeah. uh, one of the best human Angel beings. on earth um but the, since the show is, is about baseball alexis is cuban i'm dominican mm -hmm. and we're into soccer and not not really into baseball as much as we mm -hmm. were when we were younger so we've uh, been what, disowned by our families mm -hmm. <laughs> so but what is how do you feel about uh, uh baseball nowadays because i know a lot of times people are complaining it's just a little too slow commercials you know soccer is a little bit more um i, I mean subjectively it is more entertaining to me but how do you feel about it nowadays I mean, look, it's hard for me to explain how much I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that means less to me, but it's, it's hard. <laughs> good. All right. Did you watch answer. it before you had to pretend to play it? In yeah. The, in the no, I did. I watched it. Um, and then I trained with the MLB guy that's like my cousin's friend. Sean Casey is the man in Pittsburgh, which is awesome. And That's then, and then like we had a like a coach Justine Siegel who's like I think one of the first women MLB coaches. This woman wow. Justine Siegel. So she was like the coach on the show. Um Are you good? I'm nice. I have wingspan. Uh, is that helpful in it's baseball? Helpful. <laughs> it's helpful for everything. Yeah, I, like center fielder diving catches? Like yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. you she does. Like the do. Jordan poster. Yeah. <laughs> I do have wingspan. That was actually my, in my audition they were like do you have baseball experience? I was like I do not, but I have wingspan. Yeah, yeah. I have wingspan experience. And they're like I booked your book. Your book. How soon can you get here? Can you the star? <laughs> <laughs> but um what what do you think about uh soccer after the World Cup? There's going to be a little bit of a letdown. But yeah. the English league will pretty much start a week later. And this is a lot of my favorite players, I believe. The, yeah, well, there's certainly, first of all, the league is in English, so it's a little bit easier to follow. Yeah. Oh, what? This is a question. What language do they argue with the refs in? English? Mostly English. Copy. Okay. This yeah. is a good question. That's a good. A lot We've of people asked have players asked, that. Yeah. 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 It, it's you, usually um, the English is kind of the default language, mm -hmm. uh, especially at, at World Cups. But they this has been a thing. I, uh, this is an interesting fact. There was like a, a game in, I think, the 70s or the 80s that um, the referees did not all speak the same language. And there was some confusion over a call and they didn't understand each other. And it led to like the result of a game, like somebody lost. Wow. because. Uh, so then after that result. Um, FIFA changed the rule that all referees have to speak uh, uh, have to speak the same language. Wow! Uh, but usually for World Cups, English is uh, okay. is the default. Yeah, yeah like the Netherlands wow. team will be arguing to like a Romanian ref right. in English. Yeah, that's why I'm always yeah. like, what? I mean, just it's so many levels working. Yeah. Wait, what'd you ask? Oh yeah, the, okay. So soccer. How do you after think you're gonna? Cup. You think you're gonna be able to, to at least try I, to attempt to I'm stick with the sport? I'm considering going to Paris to see Paris Saint Germain. We've Saint, been. Saint, what's it? Okay. Saint Germain? Is that the uh, name? Paris Saint Germain. Saint Germain. Saint Germain. <laughs> I'm a quarter. I'm a quarter French. So there you go. Are you? No, you're yes, not. I am. I have a. I'm a, I have a grand mère from Paris. I don't know what that means. It uh, means grandma. My grandma's uh, from Paris. <laughs> <laughs> like father grand mère. Bro, you come across as one. Uh, 
thousand and fifty percent Irish. <laughs> yeah, well, except for the twenty five percent grammaire. Yeah, I forgot about your grammaire. Yeah, four cylinder, <laughs> six cylinder. What's the grammaire? Uh, <laughs> so you're gonna go Paris, Paris Saint Germain, which is I like. I mean, I'd, would it, wouldn't it be fun? Dude, first of all, all their merch is incredible. It's all it's all Jordan brand. Wow. Yeah, and Mbappe plays that. That's why I love Mbappe. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's and Mbappe, I also love we'll Mbola. <laughs> I also love Mbola. So his, I loved his narrative because he's from Cameroon. Right. He scored on Cameroon. Didn't celebrate. Didn't celebrate. Then I had. A, yeah. Then I saw him have a great game. So then I started betting on him. And yes. then the last game, he's a ghost. He's nowhere to be found. Yeah. I said, well, I guess you can't judge everything by one game. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> You, you I'm like betting Tunisia, heavy on this man. And it's been down. At yeah, and it's uh-uh. but, but no. But I did have Morocco, which was nice. There you go. Who do you think is winning this whole thing? Argentina. Argentina. But I have the finals coming down to Argentina, Morocco. Whoa, hold up. So <laughs> I mean, Morocco beats Portugal, and I'm assuming France. France or England? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> no. I, I did my brackets like I didn't know as much as I know now. Right, How did you right. pick Argentina? You just assumed they were good at soccer? Yeah, it just felt like if there was a team, like it just felt like that's their yeah. thing. You know, like <laughs> yeah, they have it, them playing since birth, since the womb. But yeah, but that's it's good that that um, that either that that stereotype. We yeah. know we learn what the stereotype like Argentina. That's yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they go grill meats and they kick a ball. That's yeah. it. Put them in there. Having a good time. They're having yeah. a good time. <laughs> So uh, how did you feel about the U.S. team? Uh, not I was really bro- happy. Got out of the group, but they did. But they lost in the first round. I was really happy about them. Yeah. It was exciting. Like the USA games have been so fun. They were incredible. Great vibes. Great vibes. Any that- any favorite every any favorite players uh, from the U.S. team? Um, I liked uh, what's the kid's name? Like yeah, yeah. it's like Yunus, a Y. Yunus, or- Yunus Musa. No, Yunus no, Musa. no, no, no. With a what? Yedlin. Yahweh. Weya. Tim Weya. Weya. Tim Weya. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like Tim, Tim Weya. Weya. Yes. The New Yorker. Is, okay, yeah, yeah. So, because I saw him do an interview, and he's like, "We all meditate together. Yeah, we listen to Drake. We do yoga together." I was like, "Okay, yeah. love this team. <laughs> love, love my team." Frank is like, "I need to get on the yeah. men's national team." Jeez, I mean, he likes the things I like. Yeah, yeah. Great. I go yeah. fantastic. Did you know that his father is a famous soccer player? Of course not. Okay, and also <laughs> currently the president of Liberia. Really? <laughs> yes. You're kidding. No, his father George wow. Weah. Very famous soccer player, was one of the best ever. Currently the president of Liberia. But he grew up here? I didn't, he, how do he people his, end up had, on the he team? He had a kid with a woman in New York. I and see. that's Tim Weah. Love him. Yeah. He goes, he's just like, <laughs> yeah, we meditate. <laughs> yeah, 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 we listen to Drake. You're like, I listen to Drake, I meditate. And they're like, what are you playing on this one? He's like, oh, little Drake. I was like, I followed him right away. I'm following the most <laughs> random players. <laughs> yeah. Mbolo. Mbolo. Tim, like, I, yeah. Um. The goalie from Morocco is my favorite, Bono. Bono, Bono yeah. I love Bono. I followed this? the most random teams, the Spurs. Who is that? Oh, God. <laughs> are they bad? <laughs> are they bad? Oh, you're off the show now. Really? Is, are you bad? Are they they bad? are the Red Sox to my Yankees. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And they are perennial losers. Okay. The well, joke is, is that they don't have, uh, they don't need a trophy case because they never win. I like that. Yeah. They just, their clips started popping up. I go, I'll give a follow. <laughs> you got to go Arsenal. Is that the team? That's my team. That's like the best. Okay. I'm gonna, no, that's don't okay. Don't say so, anything, Christian. So that's our goalie. That's our goalie. Yes. Matt Turner. Matt yes. Turner. Yes. Who yes. You said you wanted to say something about Matt Turner. But now do I? I don't know. Well, we, we were laughing because, no, because I kept going, he's so good. He's like our- He's incredible. He's, he's, I kept going, he's incredible. Yeah. And then the announcer starts talking about, he was a baseball player, just decided he wanted to play soccer, walked on at Fairfield. Yeah. And I go, is that's like America? They don't start them young. Yeah, we're, we're, everyone else on the team, yes. Do they start young? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christian Pulisic yeah. was already playing in Europe at like what, sixteen, seventeen? Really? Anyway, no, Matt he, Turner he moved, is so he was like good. fourteen. Yeah, he moved over there when he was fourteen. Everyone else, yeah. Matt, Matt Turner, Turner listens to the show. Yeah, of course he does. Uh, my, my boy. Yeah, I, I keep it. He's so good. Best player. Yeah, he's incredible. <laughs> but he was one of those players that was good at all the sports. There's a video of him at Fairfield, and they say, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" He goes, "Hopefully, working in an investment bank." Wow. And he's, Five wow. years later, or what? Six now. He's twenty eight. So a little couple years later, he's yeah, yeah. World Cup. Wow, it's incredible. Incredible. Uh, but one of the things that, that I don't know if you saw this girl on TikTok or her, her video. It was a Moroccan girl, mm. and the uh, uh, so Bono. You mentioned the the goalkeeper from Morocco. Uh, a lot of women have been pining over him. They just they find he's him very handsome. Really very cute. Tr- he's very attractive. Yeah. Looking guy. And, really and looking. And this this Moroccan girl. Uh, it, it, her video went viral because she's saying, she's like, I can't understand 
why all these women are simping for Moroccan men. They're the worst men. Don't do it to yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there's something that happens. World Cup, I think, ups the, the attractiveness they look good. Of, certain, uh, of certain players of certain countries. It's the whole world watching. If you got, the, yeah. if you got a good fade... Right. Yeah. You got to have a good fit and you play well. You're getting yeah. a lot of camera time. And it's probably the best looking sport because you can't like you have to be moving constantly. Like You're just in good shape. It's a good point. Baseball players, you can just smoke a stick and then yeah. <laughs> walk right out on that yeah. field. Yeah. Not a care in the world. My grandfather tried to stop me from playing soccer when I was young. He showed me like fat baseball players. He goes, look, you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. He was like, I said, yeah, I've, said this a, I've said this a lot. I, I have this theory that you cannot. You cannot be a, a professional soccer player if you're unattractive. There's, there's, there's so few that have made Rooney. it through. Yeah. There's okay. Wayne Rooney was. Wait, a, who listens to the show? You know like, how, what can Rooney I say? Is? You can say whatever you want. Okay, well, there's, there's. I found literally one like mildly husky player in the entire World Cup. Yeah, he's on Poland. <laughs> yeah, I'm there's not many. He's there's just a is. little doughy. He's like, I mean, a little doughy, and that's like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, there's, there, there's some. Uh, uh, wildly attractive players, right? Yeah. And we, you know those uh, the tens or whatever. But here's one of the greatest players of all time. This is when I'm showing him a young. I'm showing Frex a young photo of when he played for Christian's favorite team, Everton. So he's 17 years old in this photo. Okay. I mean, but this is a terrible example. I'm like, <laughs> I, there's no better photo. It's, it's a 17 year old kid, dude. Yeah, but he's <laughs> like he's like 40 now. I'm ready. This is entrapment, <laughs> but I'm ready. Okay. Wait, what are we looking at? How attractive. <laughs> oh. not, not all. You don't have to be attractive to play this sport. I'm just saying. In no, no way, shape, or form. You do. No, but you don't have to be, but it makes you attractive. The, okay, oh. but the, the physicality of what you have is. to do in the sport is what makes you attractive. Mm. Here plus, he is plus, three years later. This is, no, this is 20 by 23 years old. Okay. All right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Wait, this I is old, this, though. You could. This is not a modern soccer player. This is from, like, 10 years ago. Yeah, this is not modern. Okay. M- more so now 10. you got to be pretty. <laughs> TikTok era. Yes. Yeah, now you got to be pretty. They have, yeah, no, literally. <laughs> like, but you think have, the sport makes you pretty. Yes. And I think that they're branding themselves in a way because, no, seriously, because they're playing in the World Cup and it matters how they do here, how much money they get on their little teams, right? Yes. <laughs> little teams is hilarious. I love this. I so love they're this. Wait, you park you the notice how they brand <laughs> themselves. Like they do the haircuts because of that, right. I think. They're so Or they have haircuts, something, they have like tattoos. a thing that makes them recognizable. This is what I believe. This, you should you get into sports branding. This is, yeah, yeah. I should. You could be an agent. You, you already right? know the ins and outs. I'm thinking about like starting a podcast for the Women's World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should on the Cooligans Network. Yeah, can you do a sub podcast? <laughs> Why of, like, not? Frex Hour for the women. One hundred percent. And then when we get canceled, we will we will I guess have to find all new jobs. Yeah. we all yeah. go back to the bar. Yeah, we all go back to the bar where we don't recognize the World Cup. Oh, you think you're going to get into the Women's World Cup this summer? I'm going to try. Is it is it fun? I don't know. Yeah. Is it as fun? What time is it going to be? It's going to be dumb early, right? Because it's uh, oh. yeah, it's in Australia, New Zealand. So yeah, the the, the kickoff times are going to be fairly early. I think this is yeah. another thing I think that's really working for the World Cup right now is the fall winter element. I think people need it now. You do not need this in the summer. Who has who's doing this in the summer? Every other time, uh, like just, it's just, happening in the summer. I know, but just like for your average person. Yeah. They don't need this. People need this right now. People are hanging on by a thread. Yeah. Yeah. They <laughs> need this. this Mental should, health wise, you think it's important all, to have I this think in the people winter? have the I think people can invest right now. Yeah. The year is winding down. You're you're lost at sea. Mm-hmm. Grab onto the World Cup. You spend all your we'll money. Bring you home. It's free. Yeah. Turn bring on the home. TV. And then I think um the fact that they play at night really works for them because it makes it feel more epic. Whereas the daylight games feel very rec league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, think they should be, I don't think they should be playing in daylight. Games with sun. No. <laughs> she don't like it. Yeah. Some of these kickoff times in the local time, like this, uh, the Argentina-Netherlands game ended in the day after. Uh, after midnight. Oh, wow. yeah, after yeah. midnight. So. I wonder what time they wake up. The players? Yeah. You think they party over there? No. I mean, they don't take a chance. We'll start. We'll find out like in, in a month or two. We'll yeah, start yeah. to get pictures leaking of them. Do you think partying. they even drink though? Because it's like they have to be physical top top. No, top. no. Yeah, but some top. players don't really care. They don't care. I mean, no. Even <laughs> these guys, but they have to be. They're not. There's a player players. named Jack Wilshire who's one of my favorite players ever uh-huh. for Arsenal. Uh, he was known for smoking an entire pack of cigarettes in the showers after the game. Wow. Mm-hmm. To open the lungs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Whatever. A man after your own heart. Yeah. You always got to open the lungs. I'll smoke a cigarette right now. Open the lungs. I know the doctor. I know yeah. that's a medical term. <laughs> medical advice. Here. Medical uh, advice. Open the lungs. Uh, Dr. Frex weighs in again. <laughs> well, listen, Frex, this has Thank been so amazing. Where can people watch the show? Uh, where can people follow you? You can follow me on Instagram at Lil Frex, L I L F R E X X X. That's Lil Frex with three X's. Okay. We put Let's out a go. lot of content. Over <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. It's not know. what you think, but also it's yeah, not what you think. It's not, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. The three X's is misleading. It's yeah. not sexy at all. It's no. like literally floating head videos. It's you with a pizza box yeah, sign behind not, you giving people advice. It's exactly. Correct. Yeah. It's and pretty great. If you want to watch League of Their Own, it's on Amazon Prime. Shout out Jeff. And, um, Bezos? Yeah. <laughs> JB. JB. At first, I thought maybe this is the producer of the show. No. But no, it's Joe I mean, he's Bezos. A, he's sort of like one of the billionaires not, you know, totally embarrassing uh, themselves at the moment. So that's not, yeah, give him bad. time. Yeah. He'll yeah, get yeah. there. Jeffy B. He'll get there. He's young. They're good dude. Guano. Cuban. Who? Cuban. Jeff Bezos. Oh, good for Look him. That. There you go. Give me some of the money, Jeff. Damn, bro, you you claim him? I didn't realize. Uh, billion? Yeah, no, you you hit a billy. We cousins. That's how it works. Thank uh, you, flex. everybody. Flex, ladies and gentlemen. Flex? No. Flex. Flex. Again. You sound like the forty-year-old woman. You're like little frat, little flex, little you frat. Know I used to do a show with a guy named Flex, so that messed me up. Little Frex, everybody. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. An honor. Cheers, cheers. Little Frex, everybody. Huh? Let's go. What an interview. Absolutely what incredible. A, super funny. Delightful. She, a, a great comic. Like she said, make sure you follow her on uh, on Instagram and uh, and watch her on A League of Their Own on Amazon Prime. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Uh, super, super funny. I love her perspective of whatever, as long as the guys are hot. So, I mean, it's literally hey. take, take it right out of our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, you you get you get people in the door. However, you get them in the door. Hey, okay. You know, <laughs> it's like a cartoon. You put the pie in the windowsill, and you see the bear flown in. Whatever gets that bear flown in. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And it's probably cocaine because it's yeah. it's a cocaine bear. <laughs> right, cocaine <laughs> right. bear, which you can watch right after you watch the League of Their Own. Uh, uh, so let's talk yes. about the first game. What a what a horrific turn of events for Brazil. <laughs> Brazil, Croatia, uh, you know, the, the, this game, uh, there's something about the, the World Cup because there, there's so much at stake that it you don't, a nil-nil game should be boring pretty much any other time. But when the, the, the margins of, of error are so close and anything could, could sort of shift the, the, you know, the feelings of an entire nation, Nil nil is it only raises the tension throughout the throughout the game. Horrifically on the edge of your seat, uh, my buddy Nick, <laughs> uh, my buddy Nick, who came to watch the game with us here, um, the second game, he texts me this morning before the Brazil game, uh, and he goes, uh, "I just put a bet in on DraftKings, by the way," uh, and he said, uh, "All I need is for Brazil to score in regular time," and I was like, "Buddy, you might as well start. <laughs> go look for some, what you're going to buy with your money, okay? Because." <laughs> It's Croatia, baby. There's no chance they're not scoring. They're they're playing amazing and agony for 90 straight minutes. Yeah, just um the the, the poorest. Um, I mean, look, I, I, the, Brazil. Did they play poor? Like Richarlison got subbed off. Right. He he re, re, didn't do anything in this game after having uh, a, a great tournament. Making so far. a name for himself. He put his name on the map in the tournament Without so far. Um, but the Croatia, Croatia. Yes. They, they did what they do. Mm -hmm. They they frustrate teams. They they are not. Their focus is not like, you know, joga bonito. Nothing. They're no, like, no no no. <laughs> there is no finesse. There is no, no dancing. They are a militant <laughs> soccer team, bro. Uh, and and but the the fact that they were so uh, composed and and even after giving up the goal in extra time. Remarkable. I mean, I I think you know, a lot of people are saying this about Brazil. Like, oh, they after they went up, they were playing a little too arrogant. And I'm like, what are you talking? Like, that, that's I, they they took everything that's been happening throughout the tournament, them dancing and all this other stuff. And there's like, and now they now that they, they need just what six minutes left. They need to hold on for six minutes. This is when they decide to be arrogant. That, and that, right. <laughs> that wasn't the case, but they did tactically, I think, play um, not cautious enough. Like, not just five at the back, hold on. Uh, yeah, they never they parked did, the bus. They, which is why I'm, It's a party bus. You can't park it. You got to keep going, <laughs> you know? Which is, see, and I give credit, even though they couldn't hold on, but 
Argentina did try and just they stood back five at the back. I, I believe it was five at the back. They were just they were defending. They they, they tried right. their best. They failed at it and they ended up you know it, it worked out in the end. But it, it's I think it's a you know an unfair criticism of of Brazil, e- even though it was heartbreaking to see Neymar uh, in tears. Um, just it's it. it, it I mean, look they it, they had it. They had it, <laughs> and you know a deflection. They just, you know, they probably should have had that second goal and they couldn't, uh, you know, finish that. But I I can't not feel bad for a Brazil. I'm wearing the Brazil kit. This was the, you know, I always said my brother was the one that really got me into the sport. He used to travel around the world, bring me kits from every particular, from different countries. And this is a Ronaldinho kit that he got me. So, yeah, uh, I, when I saw out. you wearing it, I'm like, dude, they lost. Why are you wearing the shirt? <laughs> uh, it's gut wrenching for Neymar because you could see after the match that it, how much it meant to him. Uh, you could see him really show a lot of emotion, uh, crying. I, I, the player I feel worse for is Marquinhos. The shot where they have the camera on him and on his face during the penalty as it clangs off the post, and he looks up and holds his face, it's like a bad actor being shot in the back in, a, in like a SVU. It was <laughs> gut-wrenching. Yeah. Gut-wrenching to see. The, those um, uh, Look, the goalkeeper, uh, what's his name? Lukovic or something like that? Lukovic? Oh. Uh, Livakovic. Livakovic. Um, I had one of the greatest games of his career. Yeah. Uh, some what a time awesome, to have it. Incredible stops. Like, you know, Brazil didn't. Um, they had a couple of really, really good chances, but and and uh, that Neymar goal is legendary. That Neymar goal, just the, the it, it felt a little bit like you, you, we saw how how uh, Livakovic stopped so many shots and he he played the the really the the goal that um I think Neymar the, the shot that Neymar took that he was trying to nutmeg him and mm-hmm. and Livakovic had his knee put his knee down his back leg down right at the right moment before the ball could go through his legs uh it's so Neymar you saw he he remembered every moment, every experience he had with right. the keeper and he was like all right so that's why he took that extra touch uh when he got that it's like ball like the terminator and, vision he was like, boop, 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 4% Dude. chance, boop, 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 0% chance. In- <laughs> it was incredible. but the, the, And I think they, w- with Croatia, the, 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 their main thing is that they they just, they, like, they kept saying, they, Lovren was saying, like, you, could, you know, they didn't stop believing and they had a, all the heart and stuff like that. But they it's they just play, They you know what they do. You know, <laughs> they are yeah. not trying to do anything fancy at all. They literally, they brought in just like the, the uh, Petkovic, I think the guy who scored, um, a unit, absolute unit, when yes. he took off his shirt. It's just that they're bringing the muscle. Yeah, from Dinamo <laughs> Zagreb, I believe. Yeah. I mean, uh, just an absolute... These guys are just like... they Like, you know, uh, Brazil's training by dancing. <clears throat> these guys are breaking cinder blocks. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, this, is their, this is before the game. Yeah, it's just uh, these are massive human beings. And they're like, look, we're not, there's nothing fancy about what we're going to do. We're going to play one way, and then we're, we're going to beat you with it over time. Eventually, we'll, yeah. something will happen. And I just want to give a shout-out to Luka Modric, bro. Yeah. How many times is this man at his age going to have to play 120 minutes? He's 37. He ain't got the legs, bro. He's 37. And, and there was a, an extra time. There was one play where he, like, got past a, a man, I, and I think he sent in a cross or something. And I'm like, bro, how's he doing this? Bro. These guys, you, I mean, especially in the goal, um, the, the Croatia goal, you could just tell they were tired. Danilo was running back. And as soon as he was running back to, 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 to try to stop a pass, I'm like, this guy's done. I yeah. just knew. <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to go home, bro. He wants to go home. And, and you, could, you could sense it. And it, look, it, it was a, a deflection uh, uh you know, you, you're gonna get lucky at, at some point. Something's gonna happen, uh, but that th- that's where you, I think you saw the the difference. The, the I, Brazil should have played a lot more cautious. There, they, when they when they um, when that ball came in, the fullback, I forgot who it was, but the fullback was. I mean, he was way too far. He, I mean, there was there were four players running back, and there was just like no fullbacks on camera. Uh, and when you just got to hold on for a few more minutes to, to, to they, they tried to just press Croatia to make a mistake. And Modric is the one who sent that ball yeah. in 
Uh, to He's, you can't press Modric. That's yeah. what he wants. Yeah, you know what uh, I mean. So unfortunately, it's just a really but, like this is the second World Cup where he's been like the player of the moment, and yet it still feels like he's underrated somehow. Yeah, because he he's not the the he's not filling up the stat sheets. He's just doing the right things to put everybody else in a good position. Uh, and he he's just like he's just one of these midfielders that just always makes the right decision. I mean, uh, like that that is one of the things about this game that that differentiates you know players you know the the stars from just a casual player it's just messi and another they just make the right decision yeah in the moments that it seems impossible for them to make that decision so they are uh, mistakeless uh <laughs> there's a great picture that i saw on, on instagram of luka modric and he dresses kind of like a normie you know what i mean he doesn't dress like a footballer he doesn't have any outlandish i do i do think we need to fix the fit maybe this is why he's not getting the recognition but there was a picture of him in like just like dad pants and shirt feeding a bear and it's a quote from him it's not real obviously but it says he's talking to the bear he goes if you ever see me in the woods fighting another bear help the bear <laughs> so, he, so stupid but pretty pretty on point for luka Modric. Yeah. the man doesn't smile he doesn't frown he grimaces sometimes but that's it the man is focused on doing something magical at least every 30 minutes yeah, I did not think uh, you know Croatia would get this far in the tournament. I didn't think it would they would like sort of repeat what they did in 2018 um, with essentially the same team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a couple younger guys on the team, um, but it, it is still pretty remarkable that that the older the old players uh, or older players that they still have on the team are not like weak links or have have been that much of a risk uh and they i mean to to even to keep brazil scoreless for 90 minutes is in, incredibly impressive yeah. wildly so, impressive especially with the amount of talent they have yeah. uh let's talk about argentina versus netherlands who did you think was going to win this game i i picked argentina i think you did as well i did uh as well yeah i did were there I, moments I, were there moments in the game where you questioned your decision because they were for me as well no i i you know the um i i you know, Argentina didn't create, um, you know, a, a, that many chances. Netherlands are a good defensive team. And the so I, I think they played the game I expected. And as, as and then when you see the first goal, um, who, who was it that scored? Molina scores mm -hmm. the first goal. And the way the way he even gets the ball gets to him. And it's a goddamn miracle. Yeah, that, I mean, it takes a moment of absolute magic. A deity is the only person that can get that ball through that many players. <laughs> right, it just so happened that's what they have on their team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, so when that goal went in, I'm like, "Yo, this is." I mean, this is what it was going to take because Netherlands, uh, uh, their back four is un unreal. They're just uh, absolute beasts. Even their their fullbacks are insanely fast. Uh, just all technically gifted, tall. Yeah. It just it, so that that's what it was going to take. And then the um, the penalty. I mean, literally, as far into the. I mean, as far <laughs> like as close to outside the box as possible. Yeah. To get a penalty. And uh, Acuna, I thought had a. Um, I didn't think he had a good game at all, and he got the yellow, so he's going to be missed the next game. Um, but the. No, uh, doesn't it refresh after the next? Well, I guess you still have to, because after, you got it in this one. It refreshes yeah, yeah. in the next one, but you already got after the, the semifinal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, so no, I'm I'm not to, so, oh, look. I'm surprised they gave up two goals uh, to, to <laughs> late in the game uh, to go to uh, to go to extra time. Well, you that weren't was, here, but I I literally said to the group of people that were watching with us, I said, hey, uh, you know, two nil. One of the most dangerous score lines, and Frex goes, "Well, why?" And I said, "Because if they score one, then that gives them momentum to score another. Usually, get a little bit of momentum after you score, and they're all of a sudden it's going to be like, oh no, we're only up by one yeah. goal. We have to stop everything, or else it's draw." And as I said that, uh, Wenghorst scores a goal, and I was like, yeah. "Oh my god!" And Harry's like, "Dude, <laughs> it's starting, and it happened. Literally, what I said was going to happen yeah. happened." Well, and this they, is the danger of a two of a two nil. But I am floored with the way Argentina was playing, which is essentially go ahead, kick the ball. We're gonna kick you. You know, we're gonna cause issues. We're gonna make yeah. it seem like you're fouling us when you're not. We're gonna kick the ball at your bench. All these crazy things they were doing, and it almost didn't really disrupt Netherlands. But the balls for that penalty for that free kick to pass Whoa. it. 
I've never with the basically the last kick of the game. Yeah. <laughs> if that doesn't work, you know how bad you look like an idiot. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and even before that, because I, I and I want to talk about the free kick more, but I want to make sure we, we were talking up uh, Louis Van Hall after the U.S. game and the master class that he did. I mean, he, he tactically he did all the right things. And I, I will I'll say he did the same. He did pretty well against Argentina. They were down two nothing, but they, I think tactically they were still, uh, uh, you know, they they did what they could. I mean, Messi's Messi, right? Right. But then, but the the decision to take off Memphis Depay and just be like, bring in the nine footers, bro. Bring in the giant. Right. <laughs> he was like, I don't care about any tactics anymore. He brought That's- in the Iceland team. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did, bro. <laughs> he said, I'm done with all this. Get these papers out of my face. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with swag. Dude. I don't want no more <laughs> swag. I want height. Yeah, dude. I mean, and and you would even think like, yo, maybe they should have played that way early on. I mean, the 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 conversation about Lisandro Martinez's height and, and being a center back, it's always a, a, a you know conversation in the Premier League and a, and a talking point. But LVG was like, yeah, it is a talking point because yeah. it's real, bro. Let's right. get some giants in there. <laughs> Louis Van Gaal at one point was like, "This what is short ass going to do against <laughs> these dudes, bro?" <laughs> okay, all right. I'm. This is 2022. Uh, is the you know no more short kings. We're done yeah, with that. Nah, bro. <laughs> we done. Napoleon <laughs> complex. You dusty, bro. It was impressive. Van Gaal scored what in the 90th plus 11 minutes, something crazy like that. Yeah, what was the actual? I don't know the actual moment. Uh, was just absolutely. I, I yeah. mean, I don't think I've ever. I don't even think in a, in a FIFA video game I've ever thought to myself, I should pass it to the guy right there to turn and shoot. It, it's just, it's like there's too much on the on yeah, the line. It never works, and that's <laughs> in a World Cup match. Dude, I mean, look, the the AI defending is good enough to stop that. I don't know. (laughs) Well, look, we're all doing the AI photos. Maybe the Argentina team should have done that, bro. Yeah, they could use a little AI defending. And and I think the that was another just uh, example of like, all right, who is who is matching up against Veghorst right now? All right, it's a small dude. Let let's just let's just give him the ball and see what happens. And but also, was, you don't think that go towards his head? He's the tallest guy there. <laughs> but it was pretty. It was what a yard off of the uh, at the top of the box or whatever. It it's it's a very very difficult shot to get up and down uh, uh, over the wall and into into the goal. So certainly with with speed. That's a that's a that's a, a floater. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's look. It was a bold decision. I mean, it. it I mean, I, I'm trying to think if it's like. A, a, a QB sneak, a Hail Mary. What, what is the equivalent of like, uh, you know, to, to compare it to any other sport? But it was it's just a such, fake. It's a fake field goal. It, it, yeah, it's such a bold decision because, again, it could look really, really bad. But the, the, the odds are in, in, in a bit of in your favor when the dude you're passing the ball to has a foot and a half over the defender and is physically can physically dominate. And you saw him. Just shield the defender. His height really wasn't the biggest factor there, but he is a big dude. Uh, but he just shielded the defender hit and tapped the ball, and they, they did not see it coming at all. There's just no way to defend around that, especially when everyone in your country is under six foot. There's just no way to, <laughs> there's no way to do it. Yeah. You need Manu Ginobili needs to be on the Argentina team <laughs> if you're going to get a shot against Van Hors, dude. Uh, so, yeah, it was a, a wild... Um, game that that ended up going into extra time and and how did you feel uh about the penalties i i i thought what was going to happen was the same thing that happened to brazil but i i was impressed with um the i mean the the, the penalty kick takers were fine but emmy martinez uh really his, his antics worked again uh and I, and i think that's going to be the biggest advantage they have going forward if uh, te vas a cagar. yo te conozco <laughs> that is, to this day, one of the most devastating things you could say to somebody. <laughs> You're going to shit the bed, dude. Trust me, I know you. I know everything yeah. about you. It yeah. is just the things that he does. It, you know, look, he did this at Arsenal, right? Uh, so I, I got of He did, also did this in Copa America. We've seen this twice. You know what he's going to do, and there's just no one better than him at it. Uh, the little dance after, you know, he saves the second one. Uh, it's just everything he wanted was working. 
And then even when he missed, when he missed, uh, picked the wrong side, he would like celebrate. He was still getting in people's heads. It's just a masterclass on yeah. something like that. But, you know, we've talked a little bit about Neymar didn't get a chance to even kick a penalty, uh, yeah. which is a real shame. So we were sitting here and we were all talking about like, what do you do? Do you put your best player up first? And Nick was like, yeah, you got to put your best player up. And I'm like, well, if they miss, the rest of the team's like, well, we can't do it. You know, we can't. So when I saw the first penalty by Virgil van Dijk, not the player I would have picked, but he, he, uh, his penalty gets saved. And then Messi's walking up. To me, I'm like, Argentina got this. There's See, Messi's built for these moments. There's no way he's missing here. The last penalty uh, Virgil van Dijk took, I think, was in the FA Cup um, final uh, that I remember seeing. And he also went left. I think he usually goes left, but he hits the ball so hard that yeah. it doesn't matter if you know where he's going. Uh, he, you know, you probably can't stop it. But I, I think uh, Emmy Martinez just did like, all right, he's probably going to go here. Let me just throw myself that in that direction. And maybe, you know, he'll 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 hit it to me. And I think that's it. That's exactly what happened. Um, and so he, he stopped the, the first two and it just puts Argentina in just such a psychological advantage um yeah. and and they and they got they cut it close enzo enzo uh fernandez uh hits it wide there clearly overthinking uh the way that, overthinking that, that, yeah. that, that penalty but the man who misses you know the lukaku of argentina lautaro martinez uh, uh finish it it finishes it for them but and that's the frustrating thing is lautaro martinez now had a good game <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that people there's had, no there's no proof that he had a good I, game other than that penalty. I thought he I thought he had a pretty good game as well. He he there was that 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 one shot he took where he let the ball go go by him and he, mm -hmm. he turned around and got a, a good shot on frame that the that the keeper stopped. Um but the uh they cut it, it got too close. Uh I I'd say but the uh, look I think a, a a deserved win. I mean the uh Netherlands I, they they played a great game uh and obviously added them tying it in the way that they did. It's just one of those things where you're like, nah, I mean, you you expect the World Cup to be good, but not this good. I, I mean, like, wow. This is the best World <laughs> Cup in my lifetime, for sure. It's so incredible, the the the, the drama around it. And, and, you know, I think I mentioned this a couple of days ago, but just the, the um, what you call it. If they, you know, if they, if they add 48 teams and it, and, and it changes this in any way, uh, you know, that'll be something just to be super disappointing. But uh, are you kidding me? You don't want to see San Marino, you know, go through <laughs> to the semis on penalties. Yeah, dude. You uh, know, the, the dentist, uh, Rob, uh, Rob Strong's going to have a lot. John Strong's going to have a lot to talk about, <laughs> you know. <laughs> OK, um, it's yeah. been an absolutely incredible. Uh, we, I missed I missed the World Cup for two straight days. Uh, I was just like, come on, please. Somebody yeah. play a game. Uh, luckily, I was getting absolutely physically abused at physical therapy uh, just to, to heal up this terrible back that I have. Uh, but look at this. We're, we should have, we're like cartoons. We should have like X's on our faces. We're both beat up right now. Uh, yeah, you're at home. Uh, I'm limping up and down the subway <laughs> stairs, going up and down the steps with both legs now, which is impressive. Uh, so we're getting there. Um, it's been an absolutely incredible tournament. I, France, England, do you want to give a prediction? Oh, man. Um, look, I'm going to have to say, uh, I think, I, look, I'm gonna, uh, this is going to be a little wild, maybe, but I think England wins in penalties. I, well, they've never done that in a World Cup, I'm winning gonna, penalties. I'm gonna, I think this is, there's an opportunity for a, a huge upset here. They're going to excise the demons, dude? Yeah. I, look, exercise I, the demons? I would say I, for every... England, France, I, I there's a lot of position. If you do a combined eleven, I might say that that it might be like six to five England over France. Like, who yeah. cares? How you, it would be eleven zero England to America, and they couldn't beat us, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you think, Morocco, uh, Portugal? By the way, I think France wins, and I think France wins pretty easily. But uh, what do you think about Morocco, Portugal? Morocco, Portugal, I, I. I, I look. I'm gonna go for the upset. I think Morocco. Morocco. I think Morocco. I think, and they do it in penalties as well. Does Ronaldo start? You'd you'd have to be, no. There's no way after the game. <laughs> Gonzalo you know Ramos he spent that. two days yipping, bro. Nah, bro. He's politicking, trying to get that start. I think <laughs> I I could see Morocco get through. Honestly, 
Same. Yeah. I think it's going to be Morocco, France. <laughs> Damn, bro. Would love to see it. All right. We'll right? see. Ag- uh, against their against their their former uh their former col- colonists. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. I mean, they, I'm sure they have a lot to discuss. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Geopolitically speaking, uh, it's going to be a fun game. Um, uh, this has been an absolutely incredible tournament. Uh, Christian, please feel better. Uh, we need you. Little eagle screech <laughs> so that you could feel the strength of America. Uh, yes. Thank you, Harry, uh, for everything, uh, because uh, this would not be happening if it wasn't for him. <laughs> um, it would literally be me FaceTime and Christian would be like, I don't know, dude, film it. Uh, and we'll figure it out. Uh, Shouts to Lil Frex as well for hanging out. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. Hey, if you're enjoying what we're doing, uh, you know, hit the share button, will you? Tell you for tell your little followers. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're working real hard. Tell your big uh, followers too. It's all good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell everybody. Hey, listen. If you know people with the blue check, tell them how dope this show is. Uh, thank you to all of our new listeners. Well, we're they, getting such amazing messages. They paid eight dollars for it, so you know you gotta love them. Yeah, that. yeah. Oh, super important. <laughs> um, and for those of you who have that, you know we know that when you click the blue, it tells you if you subscribed or not. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you to all of our new uh, listeners and all everybody who's just finding us. Uh, we've been getting such dope messages. Uh, people telling you like, oh, I had no idea who you guys were uh, shouts to all of you you guys are absolutely incredible uh, welcome aboard yes and and a reminder um, I, I hope I will be there but um, this weekend in Clifton New Jersey and in Brooklyn Bridge Park at noon uh, we will be hosting soccer clinics with McDonald's uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, I'm I hope I will be there. I will. I'm hoping I test negative. Um, but uh, the Cooligans, uh, at the very least, Alexis will be there. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This Cooligans. Are you making me do this on my own, bro? <laughs> so, uh, so if I'll, you have, uh, if you're a family, if you know, uh, I a couple of people messaged me that they have a team uh, of kids that are going to come by. I believe it's just for ten and under. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So that is important. So don't be bringing out your your U18s uh, <laughs> trying to run run a clinic here. Uh, but yeah, if you if you've got kids under the age of ten or, or ten or under. And you want them to to come by? Please bring them by. It's absolutely free. It'll be fun uh, on Saturday uh, at one p.m. If I'm not mistaken, at noon. At noon. Okay, Saturday <laughs> at noon. We're going to be in the Athenia Complex uh, in Clifton, New Jersey, and then on Sunday, same time, noon. I remember that. Christian didn't have to remind me. We're going to be at Brooklyn Bridge Pier Five. So come hang out. Watch me limp all over the place as I talk into a mic by myself unless Christian could get that godforsaken disease out of him. Yes, Alexis needs a regular clinic, not a soccer clinic right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Watch me on a gurney in the middle of the pitch. Uh, so come through. Uh, well, you know, hopefully uh, I'm there. Hopefully we could uh, uh, say hello to everybody. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. The, the remaining quarterfinal uh, matches will be happening uh, tomorrow. And I don't it, want this World Cup to end, but I also need it to end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to, you need, yeah. This, uh, Alex is going to be out six to eight weeks after this World uh, Cup. 100%, uh, <laughs> bro. Me and, me and Gabriel Jesus, we are with knee injury, bro. Uh, Just, thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Harry. Hey, look, DraftKings got to mention, huh? Also, <laughs> hey, AutoZone, get in the zone. AutoZone. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>